Okay, so now it's day two and I woke up this morning and I went in for a lovely dive just next door and they picked me up and brought me in next door to do the diving. Uh, they didn't do diving here because uh, they basically they're, they're understaffed in this place but it's really quiet in here and it's really nice. You know, and if you, if you go to the other dive resort, there's loads of people there of all different nationalities. So this place is really nice just to chill out and relax. And if you want to go diving, they'll just bring you just over here. It's just around the corner. So it's perfect. And the diving here is just brilliant. I had a great time. And now after the dive, I didn't have any coffee this morning. So I need to go and find coffee to get Steel energized because he's tired. He needs that coffee every day. And I also want to get a few snacks. Or mind a few snacks because the restaurant is not the best, like you know. I haven't eaten much there to be honest, so I can't really say that much about it. But yeah, I just don't like the menu. So there's actually someone was telling me there's a lovely place near the main road which is supposed to have top-notch food in there, so I'm going checking that out. And also, I want to see if there's a, a free diving center I was told about as well, it's down here, so I'm going to talk to them guys, because I'd like to do that. So, yeah, I'm just going to make my way down here. Oh, look, there you go. And yeah, there's, they're building loads of road, uh, upgrading the road, I should say. And I see a few houses are building, and they're building this house, you can't see with the palms, but I'll show you later, maybe. But they, they have beautiful homes that they built here. They're absolutely beautiful. You know, I'd love to know how much they'd cost. I'd love to. Would you live here? I'd love to live here. You know, right beside the water every day. It's pure, peaceful, it's calm. People are really friendly here too. So, yeah, I'd love a home here. The only thing I will say is though, can you get good internet? Because the internet here ain't great. You know, it keeps kind of dropping out all the time. Hey. So don't be expecting any, hi. Sea urgent, sea urgent. I buy sea urgent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's this? Sea urgent, Virgin Island, Panglao. Show me. Huh? No? Virgin Island, Panglao. What's that? Sea urgent. Sea urgent. Sea urgent. Sea urgent. Oh. 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 So this is comes from the sea. Oh, yeah. And it's press, press. basically, You've got a load of sea urchins, smashed them up and put them into a bottle. Yes. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if I could stomach that. No, no. I don't think I could. Mm. I don't know. That's a lot. Try, try, try. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't. Mm. And you guys always, you guys, that's a delicacy here? Is that a delicacy in the Philippines? Like, uh, is that a really, Filipinos love this? Mm. Yeah? Wow. Not for me. <laughs> Thanks, guys. There you go. Listen to that. I couldn't believe it. There you go. Listen to that. These dudes just pulled up on a, on a motorcycle and goes, do you want some sea urchins? And I go, sea urchins? You know, a sea urchin is a... Uh, uh, mainly like a shellfish with all the big spikes on top of it, you know, and you, if the spikes stick into your skin, you know, you're going to be in trouble, you know. And basically they just scoop out all the insides of a sea urchin, put it into a bottle and maybe they just shake it around. It's just pure raw. Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> I'd say, imagine drinking that if you had a hangover or something, you just puke all over the place. Oh, not for me. But it's amazing, maybe that's a delicacy here you know but uh yeah <laughs> well it's amazing what you meet around the world isn't it you know and see yeah and, and you see like they have these um this is uh, the shops here yeah hello doggy there's loads of little doggies all around the place i love these things aren't they cool huh and, and especially like the ones you see yeah, like this one, you know, it's, yeah. There's some of them, I haven't got a motorbike in them, they're kind of like a trike I've seen as well. Yeah, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so I think Bohol is all palm trees 
and banana trees. And yeah, that's pretty cool. As long as it's not palm oil or any of that, carry on. Okay, yeah, so as you can see here, there's a new, nice little home they just built here. I think they're pretty cool, aren't they? That's what I need. I need one of them houses. This looks like the free diving centre I was talking about. Yeah, and now they've got a big pool in there and all. Just, uh, I think it's like a three-day course to be your first wave one. That's what I've been told. So I think it's roughly works out maybe 300 euros to do a course for two and a half days. But I'll find out for sure when I call in here later on and I'll check it out for real, see what the story is. Now we just keep moving around here because I think roughly just around here somewhere is that nice little cafe that I found, uh, I was told about. Yeah, and they're up, just up doing the roads all the time here. Yeah, they covered up that, must be the wet concrete they had here. Yeah, that looks dry to me. That's dry. Look out. Okay, let's see if I can find this cafe. Should be just down here. Yeah, and I might call in there actually, look. There's a shop. Yeah, this is it, look. Go coffee, huh? Coffee makes everything better, sure does. All right, we'll go in and check it out. Oh, look, they're, they're hiring a chef. If you want a job here. Okay. All right, I think I'll sit down here. Oh. Oh. I just need a coffee. Hi. Good afternoon. Can I just get mocha? Mocha, uh, ice or hot? Uh, hot. Hot. Hot, please. That'll do me for the moment. How was your day? Everything good? Very right, good. Yeah, good. It's on? Yes. For now. For now. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, beautiful. Oh wow, that's great. Okay. Um, can I order this? What is it? Uh, that one. Malta and lava smoker. Okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Look at this thing. Oh. I think I was living on bloody some kind of drip coffee in, in the hotel. Look at this. Oh, it's red hot though. Hold on. Oh, yeah. And look at it, look. Just look how well it's made. Isn't that just perfect? And Steel wants a coffee, that's what he wants. I've ordered some food now as well, so I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Look at this, beautiful. Thank you. What is the name of this burger again? Uh, Don't know. It's the middle. All right, okay. But yeah, it doesn't matter what the name is. Look. We've got a little flag here going as well. That's a nice touch. So what have we got? We got all different types of cheese, different types of mayonnaise. Ooh, yeah, she's looking yummy. Let's take a bite. Oh, that's dripping down. Mmm. I like that. Different types of cheese. It's good.
just what I needed. And then you have some nice chips to go with it. But yeah, it's pretty good. Go coffee. So if you're in this area, I recommend it. And it's even got Wi-Fi. My hotel doesn't have great Wi-Fi, so it's good to come here and actually be able to use Wi-Fi for a change. So I'm going to finish this. Oh, and then we'll go and have a look at this uh, free dive center, will we? Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Okay, so that was Go Coffee. Nice little place. Has some nice coffee and a lovely burger. Well recommended, I'd say. Now, I'll go to the supermarket in a minute, but the first thing I'm going to check out this um, free dive centre. We'll go and have a look, see what it's all about, will we? Hello. Hello. Is it still open? Yes, of course. Okay. Hi, doggy. What's your name? Look at you. Jeez, you got a bit of weight on you, haven't you? You've been eating too many burgers. Let's see if there's anyone home. Oh, hello. How many burgers? Uh, I was just inquiring about uh, free diving. Yeah. Uh, is you is going come from there or no? Is oh oh uh, yeah. Uh, I think Ben Richie says someone coming here, so I... Think no, no. Oh, yeah. I was in... A, I was diving this morning and I met Ben. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was talking to him about it. And he goes, yeah, come up here. So I said, uh, come up and have a look. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you want to request the free diving course? You didn't have any certification? No. Uh, I'm so this is the... Free diving course for the beginner. Actually, for the beginner course, is like a wave one. Yeah. Much no wave one, and then normally it's two days. We give two and a half days. Yeah. And then the price is this. Yeah, fifteen five. Yes. Okay. Yes, including this uh, price is including all the gear. Including all the gears, including the things, masks, wetsuits, everything. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, I'd like to give it a go, I reckon. Huh? But you have a, like a, a deep pool here. Uh, the pool is not super deep. It's like 1.85. Oh, meters. I thought it was yes. a deep pool. OK. Yes. We not necessarily need the deep pools. For the school bar, we need. Yeah. We go to ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. When we diving, we go to ocean. But uh, for the course, normally we will be the theory part, and then the pool, and then we go to ocean. Yeah. Like three parts. Okay, yes. yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, because I'm staying in Almira at the moment. Okay, okay. And um, I'm staying there for another two nights, so I won't be doing it now while I'm here, okay. but I'll probably do it maybe the 7th. Okay. Uh, you can uh, send us the message. And then uh, if you have like uh, any questions or anything, you can be sending a message, we can book uh, the course for you. Yes. Okay, so I'll let you know. I'll just send you a message yes, yes. on email or? Uh, here in the Frida Academy and then Facebook here. And yeah. you can send a message. Okay, right. Yeah, yes. okay. You can just send a message and then we can be scheduled the course and instructor with you. Yeah, because I got a, I'm moving to Alona Beach uh, and okay. then I'll probably get a bike and come yes, back. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Is there lots of people here? Uh it's quite now it's quite okay. Yeah. So, I yeah. seen I seen you guys down on yeah, when yeah, I was yeah, diving yeah. today, yeah. <laughs> I decided to ride by. Okay. 
Okay then. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Okay, so I can just book it just through Facebook. So I might do that in a few days. I'll give it a go. Can't do any harm. Have a bit of fun. But now I need to get some snacks for the hotel because I don't have anything. And the restaurant pretty much closes because there's no staff there. So I'm going to go into this mini mart here that I see and see what they have inside. There's your dodgy walking. I don't even know if it's open, man. What the hell? And which shop is this? Look. It's like a, a cage shop. Hello. Hi. Um, I was just, well, just having a look. Have you like uh, crisps and stuff? Or snacks? Uh, like chips, you call them chips? I have Pringles. Yeah, Pringles. This one. Oh yeah. Can I get one of them? And uh, what have you got? Like uh, Coca-Cola or Sprite or something like that? We only have cola, big bottle. Ah, uh, no cans. You don't no. have small bottles or cans, no? No. Okay. I'll just take the Pringles. What, what flavor are they? Original? Original flavor. Okay. How much for that? 85. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. There you go. Can of Pringles, that's the start. But uh, I'm gonna go up and there's a few, I've seen one or two small mini marts up here, so I'm gonna see if they've got cans of Coke or maybe some Sprite or something like that. I don't want a big bottle. You know what it's like. You get a big bottle, you drink a f bit of it and then it's flat. So that's no good. Yeah, so there's plenty of little mini ones down here. I'll make my way down here. Maybe I'll like get a few bananas or something like that. Something healthier. And then we'll keep walking. Oh, look at this. Hey, he's definitely out of the rain in that one. Nice and silent too, it's not a noisy old piece of crap. Yeah, so talking to a lady there. I wanted to talk to one of the free divers, but anyway, there looks like there is a few people in there. You know, one day I gotta ride one of these things. All right, yeah, definitely. So that'll be the next mission now. I'm gonna ride one of those. The tuk tuks, wherever they are. So here we go. Here's another little store. I'll ask them if they have Coca Cola. Or Sprite, or just a soft drink. I like a soft drink now and again. Let's ask this lady in here. Isn't it they're all caged up? Oh, there you go, look, there's bottles. Hello. Um, I was looking for, uh, have you got cans or Sprite, or bottles of Sprite? We don't have cans. Okay, do you have small bottles, or? Yeah, yeah, we have small bottles. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's small, isn't it? Yeah, small. Is that have you got any bigger size? No. no oh, what what about Sprite? Have you got Sprite? It's not cold. I, it's I, okay. I've got a fridge. No, we don't have Sprite. 
Okay, can I get two colas then, please? Coals? Two, yes. Okay. Hot bells. Yeah, two little bottles, that'll do me. Oh, I'm okay for the plastic bag, thanks. I'll just, uh, I won't take the plastic bag. Okay. Yeah, I'll just take the bottles. Oh, they're nice and cold. <laughs> That's what I want. How much for the bottles of Coke then? 20 each, so it's 40 pesos. Uh, I think I have 40. Oh, look. There you go. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Okay, so I got my snacks. I got my little drinks. I went into the dive center. Steel was ready to sign that deal. But the lady got interrupted and sidetracked and still walked out the door. But I have their card, so you never know. I might go back. But you know, when you travel around, you meet new people, you always find what's best. So I'll keep it in mind with them. But now we're just going to make my way back to the hotel and drop off the stuff. <laughs> Hello, puppies. Hello, little puppy. Oh, you're the best boy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, well, back at the hotel, and just the little puppies are back. They're really cute, aren't they? Yeah. He's beautiful. Look at his lovely white collar. Okay. In we go. Oh, there's no sign of danger mouse with the claws. Geese. He's some rough little dog, isn't he? As you can see, it's just quiet. So, and here you have, they're redoing the dive center here. You see like, apparently this place was lots of people here uh, before the pandemic happened. You know, that pandemic ruined everything for everybody, didn't it? So, they're just getting back on their feet here. But it's good, and it's, people come here on day trips and they can go snorkeling. So would I recommend this place to stay? Hell yes I would. You know, the people here are lovely and friendly. They'll invite you to have a meal with them if they're having one. Um, you know, they're understaffed, but the few people I have met here, you know, especially the young people, they, they all want to try and get ahead in their life. And they're pretty motivated, which is, you know, it's good to hear of the few people I've talked to here. Um, but yeah, I'd stay here 100%. And you know, you can always just go just over here and do a bit of diving over here, a bit of snorkeling if you want to. There's plenty of that going on. But, you know, like there's, there could be a load of people over there wearing orange armbands, you know, and cameras everywhere. So then you come here and it's just peaceful. Oh, it's a bit windy now at the moment. Yeah. Definitely a lot peaceful here, so definitely recommend this place and I definitely would come back. Um, so I'm going to wrap this up now, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.